Okay guys, welcome back. I've still got quite a lot of these paints left over. I've already done three out of these colours and I've still got heaps left. So I'm going to go again, but this time I'm going to try with, instead of a white cell activator, I'm going to use black. Now, the black that I'm using um, <clears throat> is this one so i'm not sure how it's going to go the golden is quite a thin paint um, and because it's mixed with floetol which is also quite thin um, i'm just going to have to experiment and see if i can get it to a thick enough consistency so we'll give it a go and uh, see what happens hey so let's do our pillow with the white house paint nice thick puddle there put the lid back on my paint and because i'm using black as the um cell ac activator <laughs> i can't say activator i'm gonna have a light color um underneath the black rather than have a purple or a blue because they're a little bit too similar. Now, I just want to make sure that I've got a really nice thick layer in the middle there. So I'm just going to kind of fold it over itself. I don't know if that's going to help or not. So let's get going real quick before the pillow flattens out. Blob of blue. Try and go quick before it flattens. Pink. And I'm going to do the same as I did last time in the last video. I'm going to blow it with the hairdryer. Aqua. Purple. And then, now it's spreading out isn't it put the lime on I'm going to move these over onto the other side otherwise the hairdryer is going to knock them with its little cord okay so here is the cell activator and I'm going to put quite a lot on again just trying to spread it over the top the other paints okay hopefully that's enough <clears throat> right oh I've got my hair dryer it's set to cool and it's just on low I'm gonna hold it upside down so I can try and get the black just to go over the top of the others a little bit more gently this time. There's no rush, is there? I think I might have a little bit too much black here. Whoops! Oh, I did it again. Turned the light off instead. Alright, I'm going to leave it like that. <laughs> I didn't exactly blow very well from the center, but that's okay. You know what? I have got multi-ringed cells. Wow. Now let's just give that a minute to, to settle. I did, when I, I see I held the blower upside down like this so that I could get a little bit closer and just get that black to just skim over the top. So that was better, I think, holding it upside down like that too. A little breakthrough for me, I think, because I'm just no good at blowing. <laughs> All right. Um, as I said, I just want to give that a minute. Um, I've got a lot of paint on there. I probably didn't need so much paint. You know, experimenting. Maybe I don't need a big scoop like that. But it's a bigger tile. It's a 20 centimetre square tile, which is 8 inches. 
um, a lot of people use the little six inch ones and they only use um, a little stick but then they put two blobs on which is I think equivalent to one blob of, of the big stick and but they're only using a smaller tile all right let me see if I can get this paint moving my last video I kind of made a bit of a dent in the middle it looks as if it's kind of dented a little bit there and my paint didn't move very freely. Gee, I've got a lot of paint on here, haven't I? That little bit there doesn't want to move. Um, I may have, you know, um, pushed the air too low so it goes sort of under the pillow. It's supposed to just sit on top of the pillow of paint. But I'll see what happens when I start stretching it. I just wanted to see how the black would go. I love the contrast of the black though, hey? It's so pretty. But I think maybe I did have too much paint in my puddles because the whole thing is going to be covered in paint. Let me get that purple blob off the bottom there. Come back. Back to the middle. I don't know about these <clears throat> streaky bits. I always seem to get those. I don't know why. Instead of this, you know, this up here, I get the streaky bits, but I guess I'm getting a bit of both now. Learning. Learning with each paw, hey? I'm just putting that back into the center. And then I'm going to change direction and go off here a little bit. The purple and the lime together is really pretty, isn't it? Just wet that corner. It's really hard to hold on to these little slippery tiles. Let me see if I can get this off here because it's just a plain block of colour just there. I prefer it to be cells or lacing on the edge so that can go and now that it's gone we'll bring it back to the middle again it's not really a bloom because you know you can't see the round petals and I think that's because again I had too much paint but you know, as I said in the previous video, you don't necessarily have to do the blooms, the petals. You can do whatever you want. It's your painting. You can do whatever you want to do with it, really. I guess it's more of just an abstract, pretty painting, isn't it? It's, it's not traditional bloom. I'm trying to get that corner off without having the whole tile slide off my hand. Oh, nearly there, a little bit more, just to get that little white corner. Now I've covered each corner. Now I'm just going to go back a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can take off a little bit of this because it's pretty plain. You guys might like it. But I think it's just a little bit, a little bit plain. It's going to bring all these cells down a little bit. Just to centre and maybe take off a little bit of that plainness down there. If I can get all the way back down there again, I'm not sure if I can. Probably should have taken off more while I was down there rather than go back again. This is something else I'm, I'm learning, you know take off what you don't want while you're down there rather than having to come back again and maybe overstretch the piece. So how's that? I think that's enough, isn't it? I do like the black. And we've got quite a bit of white up here still, which is nice for contrast. It's not too dark. Just wipe the edges underneath. I 
Might be a little bit too much white down there. But then if I take my white off, this green a bit up here is going to stretch. I'll just take a little bit of the white down. And leave just leave it like that for a minute and I'll have a look at it. What do we think? I'll wipe my hands and I'm going to give it a quick torch. I don't have as much or as big a lacing as I did in the previous one and I think it's because the cell activator is thinner. Um, yeah, it's, it's really hard to thicken up a very thin paint. It's very liquid, so it's really hard to thicken it up. I am going to jump in the car shortly and go down to my local office works. And I'm going to buy some, if I've got it in stock, I should probably ring them first so I don't go all the way down there for nothing. I'm going to ring up and see if I can get some um, Amsterdam paint in black and white because it's going to be thicker yeah I just I don't think I'm going to get the results from um, the thin cell activator I think it needs to be thicker um, to actually make the lacing bigger but let's have a little look I'm sort of heading in the right direction, I think. I'm, I'm getting there. It's just so much to learn. Uh, but I did, I did, I think I did pretty well with the um, blowing it with the hair dryer, didn't I? Like that worked really well. Um, I probably put down a little bit too much black, so I had to blow it a few more times than I would have liked to because I had a lot of black there in the center. But you know, it, I think also it might have looked nice with quite a dark center. So we've actually got some like multi-ringed cells there. As I would do with my flip cut paws, multi-colors. But yeah, just didn't really stretch these babies out enough. But what's there is really pretty. So I probably had too much paint in my puddles and too much black and the black was too thin. So there you go. There's a few reasons. Um, troubleshooting. Um, someone said to me, you always say what you did wrong. And what you're going to do next and well yeah this is how I learn you know you say what you think you did wrong and then you change it in the next one so that you can hopefully get it right so I don't know what that comment was all about <laughs> it's how we learn from our mistakes so there it is um, not quite as pretty as the previous one but um, hopefully when I get my thicker black paint I can have another go and um, I'll show you if there's any difference with the, the thicker black. All right. Thanks for watching. I will see you for the next one. Bye for now.